Hello, I'm Richard Van Wyhe with EV for You Custom Conversions. And I'm going to show you a quick little video here of this Porsche 912. We've uh, shown some video of this before. But in this video, we're going to take it out on its uh, maiden freeway voyage. We've driven it around in the industrial park here. Uh, but today we're going to drive it to uh, another shop where they're going to put in uh, air conditioning. This car had air conditioning, aftermarket air conditioning, installed at one time. Uh, it's been removed, and so they're going to reinstall uh, all the air conditioning components with the exception of the compressor and motor, which we will then put in and hook up for them. So today I'm going to drive it over to the, uh, the shop where they're going to do that. They're going to do a little bit of uh, work on the car also in general. And uh, then once we hook up the air conditioning, this car is going into the paint and body shop for a complete restoration. So this will be a, a very nice car when it's done. It's a 1976 Porsche 912E, uh, a one-year car. It was only made in 1976, this particular model. And it's a really nice little car. It, it, it handles well, drives very nicely. But it's a perfect example of an economical electric conversion. This car was not built to be a race car or, uh, you know, anything other than a commuter car. It's freeway capable. This car will run down uh, Interstate 5 at 70, 75 miles an hour, no problem. But it does it on a budget. It, uh, it's built for that purpose, to be a commuter car. So it has a, a small pack which keeps the car light. Uh, it's a 14.6 kilowatt hour pack. It features 44 100 amp per hour GBS lithium iron magnesium phosphate cells. Um, because it's not a race car, uh, we save money by not putting in a 1,000 amp controller. It has a Curtis 500 amp controller, which gives the car brisk acceleration. This car pulls on the freeway just like any other car. You're not going to be out racing it, but as far as drivability and, and a daily commute, it's quite comfortable. And we'll show that in a moment when we uh, hit the freeway. And so, and we'll be driving on the freeway in, uh, in, in varied terrain. This is not uh, a level area by any means. Um, and it'll be a short trip uh, from, uh, from the shop to this other shop. It's only about five miles. But we'll go down a surface street, uh, which is a 50 mile an hour speed limit for a, a couple miles, and they'll be on the freeway for uh, about three miles. And uh, we will be driving with traffic flow and just like it's a gasoline car. So I'm gonna give you a little uh, overview again. We'll walk around the car and then we'll head off down to the shop. Okay, quick walk around to the 1976 Porsche 912E. This is a 146 volt conversion, 100 amp per hour cells, 44 of them. In the front box here, we see 20. Here's the charger. It's a auto sensing 110 220 charger. Our auxiliary battery, DC to DC converter. And then in the back, we have the remainder of the cells, 24 of them, in two saddle packs. We have the uh, Warp 9 motor by NetGain. We have the Curtis 1231C controller, 500 amp controller. Our pot box, our electronics, the EMS system that we use um, from Elite Power Solutions, Phoenix, Arizona, 
which monitors the uh, the cells. Each cell has a uh, sense board on top. The sense board monitors the voltage and temperature and displays it on a screen in the passenger board. And so let's take a that, look at that real quick. There's our display. Lighting a little better here. And turn it on. So that gives us all of our pertinent information our voltage, our current, our capacity, minimum cell voltage, maximum cell voltage, maximum cell temperature. And we can scroll through and look at the individual cell uh, voltages and temperature if we so desire. So we'll mount the camera in the car and we'll go for a little ride. All right, I'm going to take a quick little jaunt down the road here to uh, the shop where the air conditioning is going to be installed. These will all be second gear starts. And uh, hopefully things come out in the video okay. Driven the car around in the industrial park. Hit speeds of 70 miles an hour. But this will be our first trip down the, the interstate. wildfires going on in the last couple weeks. So our normal blue skies and beautiful area has been uh, kind of interrupted here with smoke. Really gives it a different look.
Okay, here we're approaching Interstate 5. We'll go down the interstate a few miles here. Car takes the corners nice and level. between 65 and 70. No means on the on the floor. I mean, it's just cruising. This car cruises very nicely. It's good to get up and go. with uh, an economical uh, conversion. This has a 40 to 60 mile range depending on the terrain and the vehicle and your driving habits. This one, uh, similar vehicles, we drive them uh, a 42 mile loop on uh, Interstate 5 without any problem. Still have about 60% state of charge left. So here we are at the shop, and that concludes this video.